everyone and welcome to a quick demo from Colour with Claire. Today I'm going to be transferring a picture onto a pillowcase and I have this magic transfer paper in A4 readily available from Amazon to do so. So I thought we'd do it together as a little bit of a fun project. So it comes in two different packs. You've got the transfer paper for white fabric and then for dark fabric. So depending on what you are transferring onto, whether it's light or dark, you'll have to get one of the different packs you can see. So it's really really simple to do this actually i already had a cushion printed this is my granddad um i had one printed by a company this was sent to me i didn't do this print and i was thinking of using this transfer paper that i bought a while ago just to see if it would work on the other side of this pillowcase so she could have a double-sided pillow um so that's what we're going to be doing today so this is my lovely granddad uh, and we're going to be giving it to my grandma after and yeah let's get started so the first thing I did was take out the inside of the pillow, so it's just the pillowcase, the cushion cover, and I'm giving it a quick iron just to make sure there's no creases in the cover to start off with. Now when it's all nice and flat, we'll get our picture, which has been flipped on the computer before I printed it onto the paper, so we know it's going to transfer the right way round. Turn it over so it's facing the surface you want to print onto and of course give it a good iron. I did this for about four or five minutes. I tried to make sure that I covered every single area and I was pushing down quite a lot. I think the pressure is what really helps. It's the, the combination of heat and pressure. So I lifted up one corner and I could see some slight speckling on his black jumper. So I decided to just put it back down and go over it a few more times just to ensure that it was fully on there. Now when I lifted it up I actually noticed that it had made it worse for me to do that and I don't know why it left a lot of speckles on the black jumper that weren't there when I first lifted up the corner. So my top tip is definitely do not lift up any part of the paper until you're absolutely sure that you have completely gone over it as many times as possible. Now, aside from a few small speckles at the top, as you can see where it didn't transfer properly, the rest of it transferred absolutely beautifully. Now, it included in the pack is this piece of shiny kind of greaseproof paper and you put that over the picture and just iron it for about 40 seconds and that apparently seals it so that you can wash it without worrying that the transfer is going to uh, flake off the page. So the other side of the pillow is of course still the one that I got printed and now we have a double sided pillow. So I've popped it back in the cushion and you can see it looks absolutely lovely. I did actually go over his cardigan a little bit with a black alcohol marker making sure that I put some paper underneath so it didn't transfer. Um, but yeah, it, it looks great. It's not perfect but I think that's because I lifted it up too early and the speckles on the top that didn't transfer, clearly I didn't actually press down long enough or you know stay in that area for as long as I was meant to. So all of the imperfections on this is, is totally my fault really. But I'll know for next time. And uh, I think it's turned out really well considering this was my absolute first time doing any kind of transfer onto fabric. The paper is great, it's really easy to use, it prints really well. And there you go, that's side by side with another one that I printed off before I forgot to uh, before I forgot to flip it. So yeah, absolutely fantastic, really, really pleased. So thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the links in the description for you to buy your transfer paper if you wish to. And I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.